We had a, a very successful Big Nature Day. It was an opportunity for the public to take part in some science here, um, meet some of the scientists. The main event was trying to inventure, uh, make an inventory of the numbers of species of animal and plant found here in the garden. We recorded over 150 species of plant on the day. Uh, a moth trap was run overnight, so we had uh, 25 species of moth found. Not a fantastic number for this time of year, but it was a cold night and this sort of has an effect on it. And then throughout the day there were lots of activities, opportunities for members of the public to go out with scientists, um, try some sort of collecting themselves, have a look at the species which have been recorded, but most importantly to find out some of the reasons why we're recording them. Well, the garden's been opened up to the public. There's a lot of people exploring here, looking at trees, looking at nature, right in the middle of the city. And mostly what I've found in here are some ladybirds. Um, these are uh, larvae of ladybirds. These sort of black, wormy things with six long legs. Those are ladybird larvae, and you can identify those as well. These are the larvae of the harlequin ladybird, for example. And um, there's a lot of green fly, a lot of small flower beetles. And then there are damselflies and dragonflies and uh, a lot of bees and wasps and ants. Actually, it's amazing how many different kinds of insects there are. Do you want to have a look in here? One of the things I would recommend is on a sunny day, take a chair and just set it aside the flowers in your border and just spend 10 or 15 minutes having a look and seeing at how many different species of insect actually visit those. And over 10 or 15 minutes, you'll find you know, 20 or 30 different insects, you know, mostly flying sort of bees and, and, and flies, but beetles and bugs crawling over there as well. Mm -hmm.